Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Frostbites Gaming Experience. So, we can actually go our way and talk with everybody here. Hey, bro, about ready to see some action. Yes, indeed. The thing is, we don't, unlike the first game, talking to people doesn't gain us any experience. It just kind of gets us a little bit of an idea of how everyone's feeling about the situation. But it's still kind of worth, you know, chatting with them. You know, get, getting a bit of an idea of what's going on here. Especially because, hey, Vegeta's now here. Huh. That's that's awesome. Vegeta's with us now. He's part of the team, kind of. Alrighty, so now we know it is, in fact, Vegeta that... It, uh, not Vegeta. It's Vegeta that's coming to kill us again. Oh, no. No, Frieza's going to be back on his way. So, we, we need to get everybody ready to fight. Even though it took a legendary Super Saiyan to beat Frieza. And we're going to try and do it with all these guys that could barely even beat Vegeta. And, well, Vegeta, that also lost to Frieza. And King Cold, too. What up, big guy? So this is Earth, huh? It's very quaint. That, th thank you. Um, I, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. It's an insult. Hey, King Cold kind of does have the right idea. He, he just wants to blow up the planet in its own right. But Frieza kind of wants to, like... He wants to play with his food, you know? He wants to torture everybody, and, I mean, who can really blame him? You know, he's pissed off because of the way that he died to go- he's pissed off that he died to Goku anyways, and now he's part machine because of it. And he probably got done watching Dragon Ball Super and is pissed off that he actually teams up with Goku at one point. What's up with that, right? Craziness. But Trunks, however, I guess survived, and now he's in our time. Goodness, how'd that happen? Time travel? Yeah, time travel. <laughs> Anyways, as you can hear, they actually do use uh, music from the Bruce Faulkner score within this. They just make it all Game Boy Advance-y, but it still sounds just as cool as it does in the actual anime. And, it's, and like I said, there, there's a lot of the tracks that are used from the Bruce Faulkner soundtrack in order that were put in this game, and it really does, it really does make the game much better. Now, we ourselves can't shoot attacks and diagonals like he did, so there's not... We can't do just about everything. And, yeah, bye, Frieza. That was a good fight. This gives you a good idea on how strong Super Saiyans are. And they are, in fact, that strong. If you remember me playing um, uh, Boo's Fury, then you'd know that whenever you actually do hit Super Saiyan form in this game, it is insanely strong. Comes at a price, but it is insanely strong. And I remember it being just as good in this game. Anyways, what's up, Trunks, my boy? How it goes? So he knows exactly the place and the time that Goku is supposed to be coming back. A little bit weird. He's definitely from the future. Well, this is actually one of my favorite scenes here. So we come on up, getting ready to go see Trunks. Everyone's just kind of coming in, you know, landing about the same area. And Vegeta's like... Yeah, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm going all the way over. <laughs> What's up, Vegeta? How's it going, man? Not really much to do here except for talk with Trunks himself. Makes the mention that he's only heard about Goku. And Vegeta's calling his bluff. He's like, you know what? I think that you're nothing but a liar, a phony, a fake. You ain't no Super Saiyan just because your hair turned blonde. You probably just had some kind of... You have, like, super insta-die hair abilities. That doesn't mean you're a Super Saiyan. It just means that you have blonde hair whenever you need it. That's really about it. <laughs> but he was right. Goku's here. So that makes it a little bit more interesting on who he is. Hmm, gotta be a little bit careful about this one. Maybe he's psychic. Maybe he's a super psychic. That's why his hair went blonde. Anyways, we get a whole entire drop of story plot and whatnot, and it can be easily summed up as so. Trunks is from the future. In a certain amount of years, there's gonna be some androids that come and kill just about everybody. Goku, however, dies to a fatal heart virus. So, Trunks decides, hey, I'm going to go back in time to keep, you know, my future from happening all over again. Let's go ahead and give a vaccine to Goku so then he actually doesn't die. And maybe, just maybe, then we'll have a chance. Also warning them about the androids coming ahead of time. We'll actually make them train in preparation for the androids. Funny thing here, why has Vegeta not been training this whole entire time? 
Like, has he just been chillaxing this this whole time and just be like, yeah, you know what? I think I'm good. Suddenly Goku's dead, Frieza's dead. I can just rule with an iron fist by myself. I don't need to work out anymore. Frieza did the same thing, and that's how he never hit his golden form, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, everyone dies, Piccolo's dead, so we can't use the Dragon Balls. Even though we know of Namek, and they've already made the new Namek, I guess no one, instead of thinking, let's, because uh, it, it's really weird. You know, Goku goes down with the virus and the androids kill everybody. Bulma being the scientist, and I would assume they still have the spaceship that got them, oh wait, no, they got wished back, so their spaceship died, but, well, maybe they couldn't have made a new way to do it. Because the only way they got back to new Namek Besides the movie in Cooler's Revenge, which again is non-canon, but I think you would think they would have made a spaceship to be able to reach where New Namek was by then, and then they could have wished back everybody and killed the androids, but no, we're going to put all of our science into a time machine. You know, I'm pretty sure if you have the science to and the technology to make a time machine, you have the science and technology to make a means to fly to New Namek wherever it is and wish everyone back to life, and then be able to deal with the androids that way. But we find out ourselves as well that, well, you'll see. Anyway, so, we're still in control of Gohan, so even when Goku's back, we still don't play as Goku in Legacy of Goku. Huh. But let's go ahead and go say hi to Chi-Chi. I'm pretty sure Goku's been wanting to, you know, Goku's been wanting to see her for a while. She's been wanting to see him for a while. I mean, look at those eyes. Those are the eyes of someone that truly loves you, right? And that's not possessed whatsoever. So anyways... <laughs> yeah, gone for a year and a half. Vegeta has not been training because I, I guess his pride has been too hurt that he didn't become the first Super Saiyan. But come on, man, it's been a year and a half. You gotta, you gotta do something already. But of course, true Goku fashion. I'm back home. I've been gone forever. I'm gonna go train to fight me some androids. But it's kind of one of those where you know what? A, a lot of these bad things start happening because Goku is Goku. So he kind of doesn't need to take care of it. Anyways, we need to take care of it ourselves as well. So, gonna head on down. Actually, let's go ahead and get a save in first. You never know if some enemy is gonna sneak up and completely destroy my life. That'd be really bad. Perfect. Get the save in. Ow. Poor Gohan. Oh, stop. Ah, I thought I could dodge out on all of them. Alright, head on down south, and then we have these animals that are still being hit by the holy black water. Well, the holy black water, the unholy black water. Gar Jr.'s jar appears to the corner of the screen and means they've entered an area that is inflicted with his black water mist abilities. Who's Garlic Jr.? Who cares? That was stupid filler anyways, and the only thing good about it is, well, being able to fight these animals and giving a reason that PETA doesn't want to destroy us, really. Um, yeah, Blackwater Mist. So a bunch of animals that get infected by them, and that's it. Humans you fight are either robbers or Red Ribbon Army, basically. Any animals you fight, well, that's all Blackwater Mist of Garlic Jr. So we gotta, we gotta take care of them one way or another. Don't be afraid to utilize your key as much as you can. It does regain back very slowly, however, compared to the first game. But you do get a lot of drops for it anyways. So it's still very much worth it. Until you can hit a high enough level that you can actually walk up and take a few hits when you have a high enough endurance. Or if you get if you get that right angle down. If you if you are like, let's say this tree is an enemy, if you're like right next to them, the hitbox is still good enough to hit them. It's a much more favorable hitbox than it was in the first game where you had to be in a particular pixel away in order to take out the enemy. Here, you can be a certain distance away. They can also be a certain distance away, so it's not just you. Enemies can also take advantage of the kind of angle that you use. They have their own kind of distance hitbox that they can utilize against you as well. And again, be careful when you hit them into a wall. They can bounce back and then get a drop in on you from behind. Oh, nice. That was a good amount of health, too. I was already at full health. As you can see, our, our attacks are getting much stronger now already. Now, we can utilize the world map and we can head on further. I do want to do a bit of grinding here, though, first. So, let's just continue looking around. Ow. Ow. So as you can see, if you're not careful with the timing of your attacks, your opponents will be. So we have now a question mark. So we don't know what level it is. We don't know what character it is. Because it's dark blue, I'm assuming it's going to be Vegeta's. I want to try and get one more level. Because luckily these enemies are... And it's another one of those. The higher level you get, the easier it is to take out all the enemies. It only takes a few hits or a few energy shots. 
in order to take care of them. Whoa, buddy. Get a little bit too close for comfort there now. And I think there's another... Am I, for, am I missing? Because I'm pretty sure if I go to a certain direction, I'll be able to find more that I can fight. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's in a different area and I'm just mistaken. It is in a different area. I am mistaken. I'm thinking further on in the game. Come on. Oh my god. This wolf. Man, where have I seen this before where a wolf completely destroys me? Oh yeah. Legacy of Goku 1. Looks like we're not fully away from that game after all. At least this time the snakes can fight back. Unlike the first game where they were easy fodder. This guy should give me the level up. Ooh, not yet. Okay, one more wolf. Or are the snakes up here, actually. Or we can just come right back and just take care of the snakes here again. Beautiful, yeah, level six. All right, now we can actually move on. Wow, we're getting really bad bonuses here. We're getting a lot of plus ones. All right, about for plan, we fly over to West City and meet up with Piccolo. Let's go ahead and do just that. So we got the journal update. Let's take a good look at it. So journal says, go to West City. Wow, even I could have figured that one out. Now you can head on back up. So as you can see, you know, the, the, the star, that's where you need to go, obviously. The purple dots are areas that you've been to, that you, or at least areas that you know about, that you can actually go to if you so wish. So if we wanted to, we can go back to the northern wasteland. So don't think when you leave an area, that's it. You know, you are capable of going back. All right, we're in West City. Looks like there's a parade today. Piccolo said he'd meet us at the city hall. But we should probably go by the Capsule Corporation first and... You know, see if Bulma's got something for us. And to showcase us what we need to do, well, Piglet's just deciding to chill out behind the parade. We can't fly over, because we lost our ability to fly, I guess. Oh, well. What's up, Hercule? It is one of the loyal fans. Who are you? We don't know you whatsoever. Like, at all. Even though he has won the World Tournament, and we somehow forgot about all the World Tournament. But we got an autograph, so yay us! Anyway, so, yeah, are we going to get this parade going? Well, he kind of wants his favorite sandwich first. Can't get a parade going without a sandwich. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, he, this, this dude, this dude's a total goofball. Are you kidding me? Strongest man in the world? I'm even stronger than he is, and I'm just a kid. All right, so we got we to gotta go get him his sandwich, but, yeah, we're not going to worry about that. You come to this map, and you actually get an idea of where everything is. Kind of. A little bit weird. Anyway, so we need to move. We need to find our way to Capsule Court, but I believe one of these houses should have a capsule in it. So let's go ahead and do a quick check on them. Oh, hello. Trunk is locked. <laughs> Whatever. Not like I was going to steal anything out of it. That stuff was totally mine. Thank you for the capsule. All right, plus one strength capsule. Beautiful. Again, we're saving all these for later. But let's actually go to Capsule Corp first. There's probably something that we want to do here. What up, Daddy Dearest? What happened to you after you fought Frieza? All right, there's a will, there's a way. That's not an answer. Give me an answer. Oh, right, he didn't think he'd make it. Thought it was a goner out of the corner. I saw a glimpse of a spaceship belonging to the Ginyu Force. So it was my only chance. So I went for it. There was no time for me to plot a course. Fired up the engine, punched it. Makes sense. Made it off now with only a couple seconds to spare. So really, he went in one of Ginyu's ships, actually. So, when he's in, like, Frieza's ship, it looks like that's what he kind of utilized to get out. But really, he took one of the Ginyu pods. So, really quick thinking on his part. Alright, get that game save and then see what we can do within the Capsule Corporation. Oh, we can use a world map. Let's do it. So, the reason why we want to do that is now we have West City available. But we've also got Capsule Corporation available on the side. So, neat. We have two means of getting to this area. Alrighty, we want to go through here. And up to level... No, 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 that's not right. Let's see here, the basement, we don't want that either. I'm in the wrong... No, 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 wait, I remember now. Oh my goodness. I want to actually go through here, don't I? Level two. Beautiful. Come right on through here. Now, Bulma's mom, Mrs. Briefs, you can talk to her as many times as you want and keep collecting cookies until your thumb falls right off. Like, you can have 99 cookies within your inventory and you can just keep on utilizing them all that you want. Yeah, let's go ahead and use a cookie. 
Because, you know, we feel good about ourselves, and she'll just keep giving it to us anyway, so why not? Let's just get as many cookies as we feel like. We're a kid. We eat cookies. That's what we do. Let's raid their fridge. Come on, where are you, Ajirobi, up in here? Anyways, so, before we go and talk with Bulma, let's go ahead and just sneak right past her out here. Find ourselves another capsule. I think this is an endurance capsule. Because the red one's power. Oh, no, it's just another power capsule. Oh, so I guess... Hmm, interesting. Thought the different colors were the different types. Anyways, talk with Bulma here. So, anyways, she talks about the certain scatters that are being used on Namek, and she wants to make one of our own, which is actually pretty neat. But in order to do that, we got to get certain parts from out in the city, so we need to go and take care of that. But we're going to have to call it a part relatively soon. Let me get out of the Capsule Corporation first, however. But yeah, if we go on over and we look at our journals, now we got different levels of stuff that we need to get done. We got to get the parade going. That's our main objective. We need to get an open-faced club sandwich for Hercule in order to get the gold one done. We also need to deliver Bulma's note, which is bronze, because that one doesn't need to get done. But we got to get the open club face palm sandwich, um, BLT, uh, Supremes a lot for our boy Hercule in order to get the gold one done as well. So... We'll take care of as much of that as we possibly can on the next part, as we do got to call it a part right there, ladies and gentlemen. So do hope you enjoy the rest of your evenings, and we will catch you all on the next part.